Hey guys and welcome to this week's Rocky update video. This week is week six and today is Sunday and it is a very exciting day because we are going to our first training show. So not quite a real show but uh, we're heading in the right direction. So what did we do this week? Oh man, oh man, my arms nearly fell off. So um, we did so much cantering. Um, unfortunately I didn't get a lot of videos. Well. Probably fortunately, because I know all the keyboard trainers would be flat out commenting on those videos. Um, it was a little bit uncontrollable at times. Um, also, to all the people who say, thoroughbreds are trained that when you pull they go faster. Like, I don't know if that's true, because that does sound like a strange thing for people to do. To um, train a horse to go faster when you pull and I also feel like, I'm just going to the fence, when a jockey's going down the home stretch, I don't see them pulling. They do seem to be throwing the reins forward. So anyway, whether that's true or not, it's definitely not the case for Rocky because I kind of was cantering around, he was pulling and I was like, you know what, maybe those people are right. So I loosened my reins and I nearly died. So that's the last time I take advice from random people on the internet. <laughs> he just took off. Um, so yeah. <laughs> I don't know where that came from, but with Rocky, he goes slower when I pull him. So um, he just kind of pulls back. So yeah, oh, I've lost my rope. So yeah, we did loads of cantering on the lunge, under saddle. He was very strong. He, the main issue is that he falls in in his shoulder around the circle, which makes his, him lose balance which makes him speed up, which makes him lose balance. It's definitely a vicious circle, but I will insert some clips from yesterday. Here he is, by the way. Look, he's very spoiled. He has a new fly veil, a new rug. Um, I'll insert some videos from yesterday when we did some cantering. So do you ever work on your bad rain so hard that it becomes your good rain? <laughs> Remember how his left rein used to be quite bad? He couldn't pick up the left lead canter really. Um, he completely just stick his head out to the outside. Well, now it's our better rein. Um, so uh, yeah, I just took two videos yesterday off cantering on the left and the right so you can kind of see how, the progress and how he's doing. Left rein, he's really good. Right rein, he still tries to fall in. And then I'm like, no man, like he's my outside leg to be like, come on, just move over a bit. I trust him it'll be easier and um, yeah he kind of objects a little bit to me putting my leg on but then he has these moments where oh he does what I say and then oh it really is easier. <laughs> so yeah he just needs to um, learn that but before now he wasn't strong enough to do what I was asking and um, like he wasn't strong enough to canter you know um, in a light contact and balanced around a circle like he couldn't even trot like that so um, it was definitely something I just needed to wait until we could work on it, um, which we have. And I think this is the perfect timing. He, like it took him a week and he almost has it. So very pleased. Then I gave him a jump yesterday, um, just over some cross pulls. He jumped everything first time, even did a little bit of cantering to jumps. Yeah, I was really, really pleased. Um, our getaway away from the fence was so much improved. I can actually have, you know, he actually listens to me. I have some say over <laughs> how we canter away from the fence. So yeah, I was really, really pleased with him. And I took him for a little hack afterwards to walk him off, which he loves a hack.
so then moving on to today, we are jumping the 60 and the 70 centimeter class, which means we're up bright and early. Um, I washed them yesterday, I cleaned all our tack. So yeah, we're looking our best. <laughs> um, and I'm really excited. We're going to a place called Shepperton. So here's a little bit of a drive away. Andrew is also, he's driving us and he's bringing Diva, his horse, to jump the meter and the meter five. So it'll be fun, or maybe the meter 10, sorry. Um, so yeah, it'll be fun. I'm excited, excited to see how he goes. New place. I think the jumping's on grass as well. So that will be interesting. So yeah, let's go. I'm gonna bring him up, give him a quick groom, and then we should head off pretty soon. Look at my gorgeous boy. Rocky, give us a little smile. Thank you. Oh, a little wink, thank you. Yeah, he's looking pretty good. He's looking pretty lean, guys, isn't he? Oh, you're gorgeous. You are gorgeous. Yes, you are. All right, I'm gonna pack the car. And we'll head off. Horses are in the flow. One very big bum. One very cute bum. And they're giving each other kisses. <laughs> Alrighty, we're here. Rocky's all settled in, munching on some hay. I'm gonna go and look at the course and then hopefully it'll be soon to ride. Wow, that was good. So I
So Rocky is a bit of a funny boy in that the way that he expresses his excitement is by just snorting and snorting and shaking his head. It's like he has all this energy and he has no other way to <laughs> release it other than by doing these little crazy shakes of his head and little snorts. Although, of course, he's not doing them now because I'm filming. He also always seems to relax when I'm talking to the camera. So maybe I need to talk to him more. You excited, Rocky? He says things are just so exciting. Look what's going on. So we're finished for the day. We're just practicing some... <laughs> we're just practicing some patience. Just chilling out, letting him stand here, watch everything that's going on. Teach him that you need to just chill out and just, you know, chill out. Good boy. Good boy, Rocky. You're very clever. Diva is literally obsessed with Rocky. She was just licking him. That's so gross, Diva. Do you love Rocky? Rocky loves you too. Oh, cuties. Now don't get <laughs> stuck in each other's bridles. That's just what we need. Oh, best friends. <laughs> <laughs> you are too cute. So Rocky's had a hose off. He has his hay, some water. Now we'll wait for Diva's rounds. Woohoo! Rocky is wishing Diva luck. I hope you're not giving her all those bad tips. <laughs> home sweet home. Hey guys, so I didn't film an outro to the video on Sunday. <laughs> I'm, I'm a disaster. I didn't film anything after we came home. So I will kind of recap the day. So I was really, really pleased with Ro Rocky, I have to say. Um, we'll start with the warm up in the trot. He was really quite good. He was holding it together quite well. He was reasonably relaxed. He was definitely listening to me. Um, yeah, it was a huge improvement from the warm up in his lesson last week. So he's definitely just getting used to the whole going out, with other horses there, the environment, everything like that. He's, he is getting used to it. He's just, it just comes with time and more exposure. And then we popped into the canter. Oh, his canter wasn't as good as it was at home, which I suppose does happen. Like, you know, your, your training is always better at home than it is at a show. So that was a pity that wasn't quite as good as we had his canter at home. But again, we'll totally work on that, that's fine. And then we did some warm up jumps. He jumped everything first time. He was being so good. Um, I trotted into a few fences first and then I cantered him into them, jumped a few oxers and he jumped them so good. Like there was a few times there he genuinely felt really good. Like his jump felt, yeah, he felt careful. I was really excited. So then we went into our round in 60 centimeters. Um, I actually jumped the 60 centimeters twice. The first round isn't in this video. But basically we've trotted into most of the fences. He jumped everything first time. He was a little bit spooky. It was a little bit sticky because trotting into fences is hard. You never know when they're gonna take off. He was just trotting, finding his feet, knocked a few poles, jumped at everything though. And then I decided that instead of jumping 70 centimeter, I would just pop around the 60 again. Um, so this time I cantered around it because the reason I trotted was so I had more control. We could go slower. I could make sure he would actually jump over the jumps. But then for the second round, I was very confident he was going to jump everything. He was feeling really brave. Like there was no kind of will he, won't he jump anything. Like he was being very good. Like he really has his confidence jumping now. So I cantered around the whole course. He did a few flying changes, got a little bit speedy at times, but he came back to me every time. So I was actually really pleased with his rideability in general was pretty good. Um, there was actually even a few times where I was cantering to the jump on almost just a loose rein, like he was really soft on the contact a few times. Um, he, you know, he knocked a few, he needs to find his feet. He, it's hard for him to put it all together. It's, you know, he gets even a little bit distracted and he forgets where his feet are and that's totally normal. Um, so that's definitely going to come with time. Um, I feel like in the warm-up arena when it was just a very simple one fence, he was able to really think about his jump and that's why it was much better. Whereas in the course, he was distracted. There was people around, horses, the commentator, you know, it was all a lot for him to look at. So I think he handled it brilliantly. 
So I put my second round in where we cantered around, really happy with that. Um, Andrew also jumped around, Dee was a bit fresh on the grass, but um, yeah, he he did well to handle her, I think. Um, she was just a bit excited to be out competing again because she hasn't been out in ages um, because of COVID. It's been a bit um, hit and miss. Um, she's been out the odd time and then lockdown hits again and you can't get out. So yeah, she's definitely a horse that does really well when she's out consistently. So once we get back into the swing of things, she'll be flying. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really pleased with Rocky this week. I feel like we made a big step and we kind of have our canter. Mm, we've made a big forward step with our canter. So I feel like that's all I could ask for in just, you know, a week's time. Um, so for next week, um, we don't have anything too exciting planned. I'm actually on call next weekend. So it means we definitely can't go anywhere. And even we'll see how busy it is if I get to have time to ride. But the plan is just to keep working on that canter, just keep um, working on his strength, on his balance, just getting that relaxation. Um, I'm also going to start to really um, try and focus on working him long and low. I think it's time, I think he's almost strong enough that he should be able to start stretching down and being able to hold that. Um, I'll just take it slow and see how he goes. If he isn't feeling up for it, if he's not just quite strong enough across his back yet, that's fine. But um, I think it's time to start working on it. I feel like we have enough of a foundation. He understands what I'm asking him enough that we can start to just think about asking him to stretch down long and low. And I think that will really help our canter also because as he gets stronger working long and low, it'll be easier for him to hold that canter and hold that balance. So it's all going to work together um, to help. Um, probably give him a little jump at the weekend, nothing too crazy. I feel like he really has his confidence now. So now it's more about working on technique, which is fun. I can't wait. Um, maybe do a few pull work exercises, the very basic, basic, basic starts with grid or something like that, just to start getting him to think about where he's putting his feet. And again, this kind of exercise will help build up that strength in his core, um, especially doing anything like bounces, not proper bounces, I'm not gonna ask him to do bounces, but even like a pull before and after the fence. Um, it just helps to teach him to kind of shorten up, um, round over his back a bit and all that is gonna help strengthen him and then help our flat work. So it all kind of ties in together. Um, if we just did flat work all day, every day, um, I think that he would be bored out of his pants. He would be so bored and I think would only wind him up more. So I think it's good to have that kind of combination of we do the days that we do flat work, we do lots of flat work, then we do lunging, then we go hacking. And when he's out hacking, he's actually really good and he tries to stretch down and really relax and kind of work long and low. So I'm definitely gonna try and do more hacking and kind of introduce it from the hacking and then bring it into the arena. So um, yeah, I think that's good. And I think the jumping is really good for him too. Like he's gotten so much confidence with the jumping and now he's so much more confident on the flat work. Like he doesn't spook at anything anymore. When we do pull work exercises, he's like, cool, so easy. I'm so over this. So yeah, I'm really pleased with him. I think he's coming on well and I'm very happy with his progress. So I will catch you guys next week. Um, Hopefully yeah, the plan is to work on his flat work during the week and then give him a jump at the end of the week. So I'll try and get a video of that and then that'll be our update. Um, and then we actually have our first show the following weekend. So we need to start working on our dressage. <laughs> we have to do a dressage test. <gasps> ah, it'll be fine. We'll totally survive. <laughs> and even if it's not the best dressage test in the world, it's all experience for him. Um, it's all good experience. So yeah. That is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time. Bye guys.